dear friend. There is a place just to pass to tomorrow in honor of the Women's Day. It was today with you, madame. Nobody else, no other place to listen to you was not like usually inspirative. But I do admire the way you're talking about the fight of the women, about democracy, about gender balance. And another time, thank you in the name of all the Europeans. This is my first point. Thank you, Madame Rajavi. The second, the second point bef bef before answering very briefly to the question you ask me. The second point was that I, in order to fight against fundamentalism, you, I discovered the power of a singer, a lady singer. We shall overcome. That was also the answer. Thank you very much. So, I just write down some answer to the questions, but before. You know, I received a letter, and certainly you received several letters from uh, the medical world about the status of the prisoner of Can Liberty. And it is impossible not to talk about the conditions of their life there. This is impossible to support the medical condition of the prisoners there, not only because they have no access to the medical care, not only that, but when they have access, it takes weeks, sometimes months, to go to the hospital, and a lot of them died without any care. So this is impossible to support. I want very briefly to answer to the first question. Does the West have common values and interests in Iran? And the answer is very clear. The West has neither common values nor same interests with the Iranian regime in the region. Such notion is misguided and very dangerous. We have no common value with Iran. The Iranian regime is looking to spread its brands of Islamic fundamentalism throughout the region. It doesn't want to see secularism, democratic system, and individual freedom spread in the region. So this is clear. We have no common value, even if war is certainly, according to my opinion, not the answer. Second question. What is the role of the Iranian regime in the region? It is playing a positive or destructive role. And the answer, another time, is very clear. Iran is playing a negative role in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Yemen. The Iranian regime is not part of the solution, but one of the cores of the problem. But this is very difficult to say that uh, the new prime minister was exactly the same that the previous one, Nouri al-Maliki. And it is difficult not to take account, in account, ISIS, that is to say, a gang of killers in the name of the Sunni religion. My dear friend, hello. No, there is only one Mullah I love. <laughs> Hello. So I uh, have listened very carefully to some uh, very heartbreaking uh, words. And I think that uh, war is never a solution.
This is the last solution when you have tried all the others. And honestly, we went to war several times in all the region with no success. The way we were going to war against Muslimism was a failure. Look, I was reading this book. You know this book because it has been written by Mohammed Mohadesin. And it was in 93, the role of fundamentalism. And despite all, of all our efforts and all the war, this is still the same diagnosis. So please, I think that you are the answer. The activist for peace, freedom, and gender equality, you are the answer and not the war. Thank you.